What if we actually could perfect a lie detector? You know that it's going to be misused, if not by our government. No, our <laughs> government would never do that. But by, you imagine, you know, di dictatorships and totalitarian governments. Um, and then finally, we're actually now learning how to control the function of the brain. And here, we might actually be able to do it more remotely. And that is through something like transcranial magnetic stimulation, which is simply a very simple coil that sends an electromagnetic pulse into the brain. And what it does when you hold it over a particular part of the brain, it disrupts function in that part of the brain. And right now it's being used for a number of different, I think, positive things. But it could theoretically be used, if it could be um, refined, to, for example, Imagine that we do discover that there's one discrete part of the brain that is required for deception. You, this part of the brain is integral to the act of deception. We don't know that that's true yet. There are some theories about this. And then what if you could put a TMS-1 over that part of the brain and disrupt its function? You might actually not create a lie detector, but a deception inhibitor, hmm. right? Is that really what we want? I mean, do we want a world where the government or some other entity can have a really reliable deception detector or even perhaps more problematic, a deception inhibitor. These are questions we need to think about before we have the technologies. We have to engage in what I call prophylactic ethics. We have to think about what this means for us and, and then try to make some decisions on how we're going to handle it before they become a reality.